Hi everyone, Dave here. So I've been asked quite a few times how I record the screen on my iPhone 12, so I thought I'd make a quick video about it, just in case anyone else might be interested. Luckily it's super easy to do on the iPhone, as you'll see in a second. Recording your screen is really useful if you want to show someone in better detail what is happening on the screen, rather than trying to capture it on camera. It also means that the user's fingers are not obscuring the screen. It's also great if you are making some sort of gaming video for YouTube where you want to show the screen in lots of detail as well as seeing the player as you can see here. It's also really useful if you're making an instruction video where you want to show the screen clearly such as the back tap instruction video I made. You can pretty much record anything you can think of in portrait or landscape mode. And this method is not even limited to the iPhone, it can also be done on the iPad as well. All you need to do is go into settings, select control center, scroll down to more controls and you will see screen recording. Press the green plus icon and scroll back up. You'll notice that the screen recording is now listed under included controls. Now this has been set up, you won't have to do this step again. Now, just go back into your home screen and pull down from the top right corner to access your control center menu. At the bottom you will see the record screen icon which is these two circles under the torch. Simply press this and screen recording counts down from three. Return to your home screen and you will see the time in the top left corner is now red. This means that you are now in record mode. So now you can just play a game, open an app or do whatever you want and let the phone record it all. When you are finished, pull down the right hand corner again to access control center and press the red button which stops the recording. When the iPhone or the iPad has finished processing the recording, you will get a message that the video has been saved to the Photos app. The file is then available for you to view or share in the same way any other video or photo that uses the Photos app. I would normally send this file to my iMac where I will then edit it and use it to make a video. Hopefully you found this video useful and if you have any further queries just ask below and I'll try my best to help out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.